you don't have to sacrifice family mm -hmm. for success. Like you become successful because of family. You yep. use them as a reason as opposed to a work-life balance excuse. Yep. Work and life aren't binary. Balance is dynamic, not static. And life is much more complex than just being non-work. Non so it's not life and non-work, right? Work-life balance is a fantasy and believing in it is holding us back from true happiness. The context of the conversation on this work-life balance has to do with taking away from some area. Mm -hmm. And it's usually the work area. Like 99% of the conversations are like, oh, I'm working on my work-life balance, so I've got to start leaving the office a little earlier. And what people don't, for whatever reason, think of is the fact that you can balance a scale two ways. Yeah, you can take away from one side and it'll balance, but you can also just add to the other. And so when you look at, the way I like to look at it now is just look at like, am I thriving in all the different areas? And so that may mean like, I don't need to work less if I need to spend more time with my family. I may need to sleep less. I may need to like hang out with friends less. I need to go less happy hours. I need to go to less you know, extracurricular activities, anything that's going on outside of work and family, maybe I need to do those things less. But it, I think people use that as this crutch or this yeah. excuse to say like, you don't, you don't ever hear the conversation, you don't ever hear this conversation. Man, I've been crushing it at home this quarter. Next quarter, <laughs> I'm gonna take it off a little bit at, at home and I'm gonna go like all in at work. Like that conversation doesn't exist. And so why is it only used in the context of taking away from something. A friend of mine said this the other day, I was having lunch with a guy named Chris Collins here in Greenville and he said, I don't really, I don't really believe in balance, but I, le I believe in harmony. And man, when he said that, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa stop. He, he, can, he was like on to the next point. I was like, whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. What did you just say about harmony and balance? He's like, I, I don't believe in balance, I believe in harmony. I was like, where did you read that? Like, who said that? And he's like, uh, I don't know, I just kind of said it. But man, it was such a beautiful, uh, beautiful way to describe it that it's more harmony than it is balance. And to me, it's more recognizing the imbalances. It's more being aware when one area of your life gets out of balance and being able to then quickly, quickly adjust. The only way that you're gonna be able to quickly adjust when you notice those imbalances is through communication. Communication is gonna give your relationships the ability to let you know that things are out of balance if you haven't been aware of it already, but then it's gonna let you know how to adjust those things so that you can get back in somewhat of a balance.